Good afternoon, Mayra. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Fine. <laughs> Hot. Con calor. Yes. Yeah, it's true. Yo igual tengo mi como cinco eh, ventiladores aquí enfrente, ¿ya? Yeah? <laughs> Demasiado el calor que está haciendo. Yeah, it's true. Let's see. Eh, Mr. Avelar, welcome. Good afternoon. Hola, hola. Su audio, no le escucho. Hola, hola. Hola, yes. Now hola. I can hear you. Ahora sí le escucho. Good afternoon. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Bien, bien. Gracias a Dios. Haciendo esta pausa en lo laboral. Excelente. Ready good en laboral para continuar aprendiendo, right? Exacto. Usted no se había podido conectar, ¿verdad? Fíjense que no. Eh, me había inscrito en el de la noche, pero lo tuve un inconveniente por... Tengo un bebé que no me deja tranquilo a esa hora. Sí, sí está bien. No se preocupe. Pero qué bueno tenerlo aquí ahorita en la clase, right? Bienvenido. Gracias. Let me see Alba Torres. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Bill. Tengo dos Albas Torres. Ah, bueno, no, ahora ya Marisol cambió el apellido y ahora es Caldame. Sí, ya me confundí. Lo que pasa es que igual Alba Torres, pero ya le puse Marisol Galdame, pero quizás le voy a quitar el Alba para no confundirnos. No se preocupe, usted ahí vea, si quiere está bien, <ríe> si no, no hay problema, All right? Ok. Excelente. Bueno, everyone, let's start with the class. It's good to see you, yo. Es bueno verlos. So today we have Thursday, September 30th, right? 2021. We are in class four. Look at you. Apenas el lunes comenzamos y vamos por la class four. Excellent. So today we're going to start with section two. What's this? Right? What's this? And let me move forward. All right, let's continue. We have this part of the class, you already know it. Ya saben aquí cómo llevamos esta dinámica, right? Entonces tenemos una pregunta que nos ayuda a recordar lo que vimos en la clase anterior. Do you remember? Right? Ahora tenemos dos structures. No, tenemos dos questions, basically, right? Tenemos number one, mention the verb to be. Structure, la estructura. Ok. Cuando digo mention the verb to be a structure, me, refue, me refiero a la estructura que utilizamos para hacer oraciones, right? Sentences, statements. Let's see. Recuerden que no es la misma que cuando hacemos preguntas, es totalmente diferente. Let's see, Alba Torres, tell me the verb structure. Mm. A structure subject plus verb, verb to be, plus complement. Excellent, very really good. Subject plus verb to be plus complement. Easy, right? Solo tres cositas. Excellent. Mayra, mention the structure, or well, mention the questions with be a structure. Is, is verb to be, subject, and complement. Excellent, very really good. ¿Y, co ¿Y cuál es el último signo que utilizamos? Hmm, I don't remember, I don't say. <laughs> don't worry, no te preocupes. Estamos aquí para chequear esto. Veamos el review. El review es un pequeño repaso que hacemos, right? Question mark, right? Question mark. Question mark. Excellent, very really good. Entonces, aquí tienen, ya llevamos dos estructuras. En lo que llevamos de clases, han aprendido vocabulario, han aprendido, entre otras cosas, aprendieron los possessive adjectives, los subjects, el verb to be, y ahora llevan dos structures, right? Two structures. So, let me move forward. Yesterday, we were uh, watching some guiding examples. 
Déjenme ver. Hicieron la práctica, Mayra, hicieron la práctica ayer de las preguntas. No recuerdo muy bien si la logramos hacer en la clase. Sí, las hicieron. Sí, me escucha. ¿Te dieron sus ejemplos? Yes. Yes, all right, excellent, very good. Sí, vamos a ver. Déjenme ver, bueno. Estos son los guiding examples. Esto es a manera de review o repaso, right? El hecho de que veamos un día de la clase no significa que se nos va a quedar solo con el primer día. Siempre tenemos que dar un breve repaso. Entonces decíamos, siguiendo la structure, tenemos el verb to be, luego mi subject, lo demás por el momento, porque estamos en nivel principiante, vamos a llamarlo complement. All right? Complement. Así. No nos frustramos pensando que hay algo más. No, complement. Right. Luego, en la siguiente tenemos, the, then again, verb to be, subject, complement. No olviden el question mark. Si ustedes no hacen la entonación, si ustedes no ponen el question mark, no se escucha ni se ve, ni se siente como una eh, pregunta, right? Cabo, eh, es necesario aclarar eso. Let's see. Uh, yesterday, we were working with the practice, and you told me that. We already did it. Ah, ya recuerdo. Esta es la práctica que no hicimos. La del fake phone number, right? Antes de pasar a eso, eh, veíamos ayer también los numbers from zero to ten. Algunos participaron en la pronunciation y otros me dieron los phone numbers. Eh, work, home phone and cell phone, right? Numbers. Excellent. Entonces ahora vamos a pasar a la práctica, right? Practice time. Instructions. Let me see. Ember, please, can you read the instructions? Instructions. Work in the individuality. Create a fake phone number. Share your phone number. Excellent. Very good. Cuando de repente ustedes vean que yo apago el micrófono es porque hay algún ruido externo que no quiero que les interrumpa a ustedes, sobre todo si tienen headphones. Así que yo cierro el micrófono un segundito, right? Entonces, continuemos. Vamos a crear un fake phone number, un número falso. Fake, falso, right? Entonces, creen en sus cuadernos y luego vamos a hacer la siguiente actividad. Ahorita solo hagan. Let's just create on your notebooks. And let me know when you're finished. I finished teaching. Excellent. Very good. All right. So check this out. We have this guiding example. El ejemplo que nos guía, right? Guiding example. Question. This Q is for question. The Q is the question. What's your phone number? Right? That's the question. Answer, después, my phone number is 7032-0085, all right? Let's try to make it a, like with emotion, with feelings, with the mood, right? Eh, vamos a hacer la dinámica para comenzar. Uno de ustedes va a preguntar la pregunta, <laughs> valga la redundancia, uno de ustedes va a realizar la pregunta y el otro la va a contestar con su número telefónico, right? My phone number is. Pero la persona que les preguntó tiene que recordar el número telefónico o lo anota. Ustedes deciden si lo anotan, right? ¿Por qué? Porque luego yo les voy a preguntar. Yo les voy a preguntar, hey, what's my last phone number, right? Entonces tienen que estar pendientes. Basic. Let's see. I'm going to have a... René Girón. You are the question and... Alba Torres, you are going to answer. Okay. What's your phone number? My phone number is 7912 Okay, Excellent. Can you, can you repeat again? 
three. Seven, nine, one, two, six, nine, three, zero. Seven, nine, one, <clears throat> two, six, nine, three, zero. Okay, thanks. Okay. Very good. All right, so uh, Rene, tell me what's Alba's phone number? Alba's um, phone number is 79126930. Excellent, perfect, very good. That's correct. Yo también voy tomando nota, así que por eso voy chequeando si lo decimos bien. Excellent. Let's see, now, Ember, you are going to ask. Uh, Mr. Avelar, please, right? Action. What's your phone number? My phone number seven seven four seven two nine one one. Ready? Okay. Yes. Okay, Amber, what's Mr. Uh, me repite su nombre, por favor, señor Avelar. Belisario sería su nombre? Correcto, okay. Belisario. Excellent, okay. So, what's Belisario's phone number, Amber? Is 7747 Excellent, that's correct. Thank you. Very good. Let me check. <clears throat> Ah, okay, don't worry. Let's see, let's have Leonardo Iglesias. You, you will answer, usted responde, and Mayra is going to ask, right? Action, Mayra. Leonardo, what's your phone number? Microphone, Leo. Leonardo, what's your phone number? My phone number is 22-22-17-17. That was easy. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, Mayra, what's Leonardo's phone number? Let's see, let's see. Let's see if we remember. 22, 22, 17, 17. 70 or 70? Mr. Lola. 70. 70. Excellent, very really good. Iglesias, Mr. Iglesias. No se le puede decir Mr. con el nombre, right? Solo con el apellido, Mr. Iglesias. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's go with... All right, we're going to finish the activity in here because I need to move forward with another content. But very good, excellent. We have learned how to express numbers and also how to, uh, how to improve the pronunciation with numbers. Now let's move on. This topic is really important, all right? What's in your bag? Okay, we have these objects. Listen my pronunciation, please, okay? You listen. I pronounce an address book, a hairbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a cell phone, keys, a camera, right? All right, there you have it. Now, this is on your platform. Esto es parte de la plataforma, right? Entonces, Aquí lo vamos a practicar y también lo pueden practicar en your platform. Let's see, I'm going to start with. Todos me van a decir el vocabulario. Este es vocabulary, así que si quieren pueden copiarlo, right? Tienen las pictures de cada uno, así que ya saben más o menos qué es cada cosa. Right? Let me have Luis Turcios, welcome. Let's see. Luis.
Luis Turcios, ¿está en la clase? Are you in class? Okay. If not, I'm going to have Maria Montano, please. Repeat the instruction, please, teacher. Yes, just tell me the vocabulary. Solo me va a decir el vocabulario. An address book. Mm. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Case. A cell phone. Excellent, very really good. Thank you so much for your participation. Let me have Marisol, please. Tell me the vocabulary. A address book, a address book, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a camera, key, a cell phone. All right, thank you. Ember Rodriguez, please tell me the vocabulary. What's in your bag? An address book, and hairbrush, a wallet, a sunglasses, a CD player, a cell phone, a keys, a camera. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you. Let me have Belisario, please. Avelar. What is your bag? Sunglasses, a wallet, a hairbrush, a CD player. A camera, case, a cell phone. An address book. An address book, okay. Excellent, very good. Un libro de direcciones, right? Eh, también algunos lo conocen como agenda. A veces hay personas que en las agendas ponen las direcciones de sus familiares, or things like that. Pero este es libro con direcciones, right? Uh, let me move on with Mayra, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Uh, another book, a hairbrush, a wallet, some glasses, CD player, a cell phone, case, and a camera. ¿Cómo se dice camera? Camera. 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 Mm -hmm. Y aquí en esta es keys. Keys. Uh -huh. Si usted dice case, es otra cosa. Case es, es básicamente ah, okay. lo que ponemos uh -huh. a los teléfonos atrás, que conocemos como protectores, right? Case. Uh -huh. Este es keys. 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 Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. And let me have Leonardo, please. Uh, an Anders book, hairbrush, a wallet. Son glasses, CD player, cell phone, kids, a camera. Excellent, very good. Alba Torres, please. Um, Andres Book, a uh, hair book, a uh, wallet, sunglass, a uh, CD player, a uh, camera, kids, and um, cell phone. Excellent, thank you. And last one, me René Giron, please. What's, what's in your bag? An ad book, a harsh hairbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, a cell phone, keys, a camera. Excellent. Really good, everyone. Thank you so much for your participation in the vocabulary. Listen, vocabulary is important. Me imagino que ustedes, por mucho que alguien sepa algo de un idioma, si no tiene vocabulario, y ya han pasado esas, eh, ya ha pasado esto a veces, uno puede saber mucho algo, pero si se le olvida la palabra de un vocabulario uno, you fail, right? Entonces, por eso es necesario que tengamos vocabulary in every days. Let's see, let's work with this, let me see, this and this, right? This, 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 these, right? Let's listen. Um, we're going to have this conversation. Finally, your practice time for conversation. 
Les decía desde la primera clase que en la plataforma ustedes van a practicar muchísimo con la gramática, el listening y en algunas ocasiones con la, el speaking, right? Que es una habilidad, el speaking. Pero la mayoría del tiempo el speaking solo lo vamos a desarrollar aquí en las clases virtuales, right? Que es lo que usualmente más les cuesta a algunos eh, learners. Let's see, tenemos Wendy and Helen. Listen carefully, listen, you listen my pronunciation. Después les toca a ustedes. Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> What are these? They are earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Reds. They are very nice, right? Tenemos signos eh, de puntuación aquí, respetémoslos, right? Vamos a pronunciarlo así como está. Like a normal conversation. I'm going to have a... Let me see. Mayra, please, you are Wendy, and Helen is going to be Alba Torres, and Belisario, you are Rex, right? Rex. Wow. What is this? Alba Torres, you are Helen. It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now, open this box. Okay, Ooh. what are these? What are this? This? They are earnings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. Excellent, very good. No le gustó el regalo a Mayra. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> no, es que... Actually, de eso trata la conversación, right? Está asombrada porque sí le dieron una cámara y el otro solo le da un patarito. <laughs> All right, let's see. Eh, Mayra, repeat after me. Interesting. Interesting. Three times. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Another time. One Interesting. More. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. Thank you. Let me have Leonardo Iglesias. You are Rex. And. Um, Maria Montano, you are Wendy, and uh -huh. and Amber Dominguez, you are Helen, all right? Action. Wow, what is this? It's a camera. Mary, usted continúa, usted es Wendy. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. You, what are these? They, these hearings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Red. They are very nice. Excellent. Really good. Thank you. All right. No problems. We're doing good with the pronunciation. Now, let me see. Eh, Rene Giron, you are, eh, let me see, you are Red. And Alba Torres, you are Wendy. And I'm going to be Helen. All right. Action. Okay. Whoa. What? What is this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now, open these books. Okay. Mm. What are th these? They are earrings. Oh, they, they interest me. Thank you, Rex. They 
very nice. All right, excellent, very good. Thank you, Alba. Repeat after me. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. One more time, una vez más. Interesting. Excellent, very good, thank you. All right, everyone, there you have it. Let's check the pronunciation of this, right? Let me see if I have it here. Okay, yeah, excellent. We use this, okay. Parece confuso porque sé que en realidad a la que le podríamos dar el sonido de this es a esta, ¿verdad? Porque tiene, pero no. De acuerdo a la platform y a, eh, bueno, a todo lo que ya se sabe, vamos a pronunciar esta palabra como this. Y esta le vamos a dar more intonation. This, right? This. Esa va a ser la diferencia que vamos a tener en esto, right? No hay otra cosa, bueno, de hecho, si hay otra cosa que sería el contexto, right? El context. Pero, other than that, la pronunciation is this, this, right? And let me have, listen my pronunciation and then you will practice your reading. We use this whenever you're talking, listen, talking, no digo talking, no, talking about one object which is near you, está cerca de mí. The object is near you, right? Near you, okay. Then we use this, let me move it down here. We use this when you are talking about two or more objects that are near you, okay? En ambas ocasiones, en ambas eh, opciones gramaticales, los objetos tienen que estar cerca de nosotros para utilizarlos. La diferencia es que en this, yo solo me voy a referir a un objeto, right? This cell phone. This cell phone, right? Pero si yo tengo dos objects, or three, or four, or five, I will use this, right? This. Now I'm going to have Ember, please read this information. We use. We use this whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. Thank you. Leonardo Iglesias, about this. When, this, when you are talking about two or more objects that are near you. Excellent, very good, thank you. Now, René Giron, read this information again, please. Remember the pronunciation, this. We use this whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. Excellent, thank you. And Belisario, please, this. We use this when you are talking about two or more objects that are near you. Excellent, very good, thank you. All right, there you have it. Let's keep this in mind. Pueden tomar notas si ustedes gustan, porque mañana les voy a preguntar de esto y ya lo tienen que saber, right? All right, excellent. So let's see, um, Mayra, when do I use this? Cuando utilizo this?
your mic, your microphone. We use this when you are talking about two or more objects that are near you. All right, when we are using this, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre this and this? This is one object. Mm -hmm. This two other or more. Excellent, Rao, very good. That's what I wanted to know if you were understanding everyone. That's the big difference. There's no much, right? Just to recognize how many objects can I use in each of them. Guiding examples, all right? We have this, this, it, they, and plurals. This is a camera. These are cameras. What's this? It's an earring. Earring? Narito? What are this? What are these? They are earrings, right? Pronunciation, it's different. So let's check this out. I'm going to have a Marisol, please tell me the first sentence. Me dice la primera oración, Marisol. Hola. Hola. Reading example. This. This. It. They. Plural, this is I, this is I camera, this is our cameras. All right. Why like this, it and earn it, what are it is, they earn it. All right, let's try to pronounce earrings, Marisol. With this. Earrings. Earrings. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good, thank you. All right, let me have Alba Torres, please. Tell me both sentences. Las dos oraciones, pero solo las oraciones, Alba Torres, please. Okay, Alba, are you there? Yes, this is a camera. This these are cameras. All right, excellent, thank you. Let me have Amber ask both, both questions, ambas preguntas, both questions. What's this? It's an earring. What's this? Their earrings. Excellent, thank you. All right, everyone, check this out. Noten esto, esto es bien importante, right? Para que no nos confundamos. Yo utilizo el are, como ya aprendíamos en las clases anteriores, el are, it's for plurals, right? Entonces utilizo el are con these. Y utilizo la contraction, puedo utilizar contraction o puedo utilizar de un solo el verb to be is para this, right? Pronunciation is important, let's keep it into count. Contractions. It's it is. They are. They are. Esto sí, hay que procurar pronunciarlo, right? They are. They are. Sé que es difícil, sobre todo, eh, nos cuesta por la R, right? They are. They are. But we gotta push. What's. What is. Right? Those are the contractions that we have. Can you pronun pronun Puedo pronunciar otra vez el this y el this. Yes. This. This. Ajá. This. Ah, ok. Intonation. Thanks. Very good. <risa> También van a encontrar un video in the platform donde el teacher hace esa pronunciation, right? Usualmente ya se ha escuchado en otras personas que a este le dicen this y a este le dicen this. Pero no, recordemos que la E en inglés se pronuncia ahí. Entonces, la pronunciación es this, right? Excellent, very good. 
Now, before going to the practice time, let me have for you this speaking conversation, another one, right? Remember, speaking is pretty amazing and it's really good to use it. Just know where questions would be, all right? And let me see. No, pero entonces quiero que hagan esta practice primero. Vamos a hacer la practice, entonces. It says complete the, these conversations, then practice with a partner, right? What are these? They are keys. What's this? It's a CD player, right? Fijémonos bien en las pictures. Algunas tienen two objects, otras tienen one object, all right? Let's complete this on your notebooks. Hagamos este ejercicio en sus cuadernos, please. Van a completar la pregunta y la respuesta. I finished, teacher. Excellent, very really good, thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Right, somebody else who has finished? Alguien más que ya terminó? I'm finished. Excellent. I'm finished. Very good, excellent. Let's start. So for number one, 
Let me see. Aunque la número uno y la número dos ya están hechas, como todavía estamos en el speaking, en la práctica del speaking, siempre voy a pedir la colaboración de uno de ustedes, right? Entonces voy a tener eh, Leonardo Iglesias, please read number one, the question and the answer, please. They are these, they, they are case. Right, what are these? What are these? They are keys. Very uh, good. I finish. Excellent, very good. Now I'm going to have Marisol, number two. What is this? Is a CD player. Excellent, very good, thank you. René Giron, number three. What are these? They are backpacks. Excellent, very good. And let me have Alba Torres, number four. Alba Torres. What is the what is this? What is this um wash? Right. It's a watch, as you mentioned. Excellent, yeah. thank you. Let me have a ember number five. Can you repeat, please? Five, please. Number five. What's this? It's a cell phone. All right, that's correct. And the last one, Mayra Lisette, please. Number six. What is this? It's a sunglasses. It's a sunglasses or what is this? Pregunta si está bien. It's a uh, sunglasses. Right, very good. Okay, vamos a ver. Excellent, Mayra. Y aquí. How do you say? Give me, give me, give me. How do you say eh, reloj de mano? Watched. Watch. Mm -hmm. Watched. Thank you. Excellent. Ya cuando si es de pared, eh, podemos decirle clock, right? Es diferente. Thank you. Now, quiero explicar esto. ¿Quién, ¿Quiénes más le pusieron también it's a sunglasses? A ver. Nadie más le puso eso. Let's see. En esta. Ajá, ¿qué le puso René? Um, what are these? They are sunglasses. Excellent, that's correct. They are sunglasses, right? Es cierto que tenemos un par, pero como la, la palabra dice glasses, entonces es como en español, un par de lentes, right? Yo no puedo decir tengo un par de lentes, right? Entonces por eso sí voy a utilizar el are. They are sunglasses. Very good, thank you. Now, ya con esto sí podemos movernos al speaking. Yay! Just know where questions would be. All right? Let's keep an eye on this one. Primero la voy a hacer yo y luego les toca a ustedes, right? Oh no, where are my key, my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your course? Are they in your purse? No, they are not. No, they are not. They are gone. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See, no problem. And is this your wallet? No, 
It's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? It's in my pocket. Wait a minute. This, no, that is my wallet, right? Very good. Let's try to make the intonation, everyone. Like in Spanish, yo no creo que en español todos hablemos en el mismo ritmo, right? Casi siempre subimos, bajamos, hacemos pausas. So let's try to make the same in English. Démosle este sabor al idioma inglés, right? So I'm going to have Ember Dominguez, you are Joe. Uh, the waiter is going to be Belisario. The waiter, el, el camarero, you're going to be the waiter, Belisario. And Maria Montano, you are Kate. Action. Oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me. Are these your case? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. Um, is this your wallet? Um, no. It's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Excellent, Raul. Very good. No mistakes in the pronunciation. Good rhythm. Excellent. Ya ven, estamos mejorando más. All right, excellent, very good. Let me have Leonardo Iglesias, you are Joe. And Rene Giron, you are the waiter. And Alba Torres, you are Kate. Action. Oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. They are they in your purse? No, they are no, they go. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. Sí, no problem. And this is your wallet. Um, no, it's no. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. This is my, my wallet. Excellent. Really good, everyone. Thank you, right? Good rhythm, good pronunciation. We're doing great. Let me have Mayra, you are Kate, and Marisol, you are the waiter, and I'm going to be Joe, right? No, yo no voy a ser Joe. Vamos a tener a Belisario. You are going to be Joe, all right? Entonces, okay. action. Mayra, your microphone. <laughs> Oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are they your cake? Yes. They are. Thank you. Sí, no problem. And it did. Mm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joy? In my pocket. I wait in minutes. That is my wallet. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. All right, everyone. Let's see. Let's try to make sense of the conversation. Yo creo que ya le encontramos el sentido de la conversation, right? 
Ella perdió sus car keys, las dejó on the table. Probablemente las dejó en el table y Cabal las vio el waiter, right? Las vio, se las llevó, las, se las llevó, sorry. Cuando ustedes ven que aquí dice, I bet they are on the table, es como nosotros decimos en español, te apuesto a que están en la mesa, right? I bet. Bet es apostar, right? Only that. Let me move on with the next one. <clears throat> Just no where questions with me. Is this your wallet? No, excuse me. Is this your wallet? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No nos olvidemos de este otro negativo. Ambos son negativos, pero a este se le agrega T, ¿ok? No, it's not. Yo no puedo decir no, it's. No, it's, no. No puedo decir eso. Tengo que decir no, it's not. All right? Are, they, are these your keys? Yes, they are. No, they are not. Where is your wallet? It's in my pocket. Where are my keys? They are on the table, All right? Now, practiquemos estas preguntas y respuestas. I'm going to have Leonardo Iglesias. You are the first question. Ustedes la primera pregunta. Y let me see. Mayra, you are going to answer the first question. Is this your wallet? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Sí, así está bien. Yo la interrumpí. All right. Thank you. Let's have René Giron. The second question. Are... Y déjeme ver quién le va a contestar. Mary. All right. Are these your keys? Yes, they are. No, they are not. Excellent. Very good. Simple, right? Estoy comenzando. Kevin, creo que en este grupo fue. Sí. ¿Qué ven de diferente entre estas dos? Y la respuesta de estas otras preguntas que ya vamos a practicar. A ver, a simple vista, ¿qué es lo que pueden notar ustedes? La contraction. Contractions. ¿Qué más? The question is, uh, what object? And second question is, uh, Okay. More options. Ajá. Excellent. Very good. Ok. Eso es en las preguntas, right? Veamos esto, las respuestas. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, they are. No, they are not. It's in my pocket. They are on the table. Las respuestas son diferentes porque las yes or no questions, como dice el tópico, son estas. Las que comienzan con el verb to be. Yes or no questions. Así que si algún teacher algún día les dice, háganme eh, tres oraciones, yes, no questions. Ustedes ya saben que son las que comienzan, tres oraciones, perdón, tres preguntas con yes, no questions. Ustedes saben que son las que van a comenzar con el verb to be y la respuesta solo va a ser yes, it is, no, it's not. Right? No voy a dar más información en esta parte. Pero si yo comienzo con palabras, con WH, double H words, mi pregunta, where is your wallet? Yo no puedo decir, yes, it is there. No, it is not. No, it's not. La respuesta aquí tiene que ser un poquito más extensa porque estamos brindando información. Básicamente estas también se les conoce como information questions, right? Porque piden, exigen information. All right, Evelyn. Vamos a quedarnos aquí. ¿Tienen alguna consulta, respuesta, duda de los ejercicios? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? No. Fine. All right, excellent. ¿Nadie más? ¿No tienen dudas de los ejercicios hasta ahorita? All right, excellent. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being in class. Esta es la última clase de la semana, no del, no del curso, right? 
So I will see you on Monday. Nos vemos el lunes, right? Bye. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day.